Okay, so we have a bumblebee here in this cup. And Dante is having fun watching it. Pretty cool, huh, Dante? We'll take him outside before too long. So Brandon is down there where that little light is. We're going fishing in the woods. It's 9 p.m. I just taught him how to kayak. And he is going to show me how to fish. All right, so we've left our kayaks here down by the river. It's actually a big lake. You can see some houses over there. And Daisy the dog is with us. That's her walking along the shore. Sun is still kind of setting out. I think I just had the very best sleep I have ever had camping. And I'll show you my tent. I've got this pocket here for my bite guard and my earplugs. Over here, I keep my, oh, uh, what is that? Oh, melatonin. <laughs> I'm sure that helps. Um, it's raining right now. I've got this new little guy. He's a hot water bottle heater, so I can hold him at night. And then along the edge, I like to keep all of my stuff. But my big goal this trip is to not touch any of the walls of the tent because I've been getting some moisture in here at the base. I'm trying to determine, is it condensation or is it that I'm not pulling the best so I've had a condensation problem and the last few times that it's rained I'm trying to determine on this trip since we knew it was going to be raining if it is something wrong with the tent or if I'm just touching the side in some way because you know if you touch the side it screws everything up so far I think I'm dry I'm gonna have to check my feet in a minute. So I did feel a splash earlier, but a little bit isn't the end of the world. So I'm just about to go out there. It's raining. Brandon, you can't really easily see through the window, but his tent is just through there. Um, I've got all of my sundries here and an overflow like toothbrush and toothpaste. And then I keep my headlamp in the top there. Or sometimes I'll keep it in the back pocket. Everything is always kept in a plastic bag. And A, it's nice to have extra plastic bags if you ever need them. And B, it keeps everything dry and clean and bug free. I keep my shoes here on the outside. So I'm gonna, and they never come into the tent. So I'm gonna step out, put on my shoes, bring my waters. Um, yep, here we go. <laughs> I'll show you our camp. That's my home right there behind me. And that's Brandon's home. We're neighbors. And up this little hill, you can see our car there. We have a family spot, which includes two places. And I'll show you my flamingos. All right, so here's my flamingos. I like to put up whenever I go camping. These guys are sharing a little snack together. Cute. It's the hammock. Looks like Brandon left all of his stuff out last night. I put some stuff I wanted to keep dry under the car, but we'll see how that did. Let's check out the hammock. I've gotta tell ya, I am pretty impressed overall with my fancy tarp. I'm glad that we set this up so that we could have some dry ground. 
Uh, there's lots of spiders in here, so that'll be fun to hang out with later. Well, it's 10 o'clock and Brandon is still not awake, so I made a cup of coffee and have decided to go on a hike. And um, I can't eat until 11.30, so this will be the perfect way to kind of keep myself from going crazy sitting there hungry doing the whole intermittent fasting thing until I start my big elimination diet. So we'll see if this trail is any good. Check out this naughty twitty wisty tree. Oh, that guy is cool. And there he ends. He's just a stubby, naughty, twisty little tree. I love him. Well, our car broke down, so we're out here looking around the RV park, trying to decide what kind of RV we want to buy. <laughs> Brandon has rightfully noticed that I like the biggest and the most fancy RVs that they have in the RV park. So after the RV park, we came here and we got some chips and a roll up and a Reese's and that's our dinner. So cheers. It was just telling me all about watching the police come out at the gas station while I was in there getting chips about girls who the kids didn't have seat belts and they're some Jerry Springer stuff. Yeah. Brennan's disappointed because I didn't want to stay at the picnic table that we were at right in front of this whole scene. <laughs> he said it's the only source of entertainment we had. And I was like, Brennan, we've got to get out of here. <laughs> Just to go back to the car and sit by ourselves. Yes. <laughs> Sorry. That's cool too. Okay, so now there are policemen surrounding my vehicle. Hopefully I haven't got a ticket yet. I'm just broken down, man. Go easy on me, man. 